All right, we're back in. Um, I wasn't gonna play another one because it's late, but the flash shift is so much fun that I don't want to stop right now. So, oh my god, that's cool. Oh, okay. Well, never said I'm good at it yet. <laughs> whoop whoop. Nice energy tank. Glad they didn't make me wait too long for that one. So, uh, ability to teleport's pretty cool. That's pretty rad. Can't go upwards. But I can do that. Wave. And it's not even like short range teleport. It's pretty me pretty good distance you get on that. Especially when you use more than one. I'm kind of surprised it's not like you unlock the ability to do one, then later you unlock the ability to do more. But starting straight off with you can do two of these is a lot of sudden mobility that I didn't have earlier. Oh. Get this missile. I was gonna say that area wouldn't have water in it, but uh. It did. It did have water in it. As soon as I, uh... As soon as I broke that water filled. I wonder if I technically could have gotten that by wall jumping, like, if I would have gone fast. Probably not. Did that lower the water level, though? It did. So now I can... Shoot, hit that. Nah, not quite. We can go up here. Did doing that lower the water level here? I don't think so, but... Oh no, I raised this thing up. Or lowered this thing. Okay. So I need to... If I break that, hmm, theory crafting over here. Still can't go through there. I guess I'm going back now. Oh, hey, can I? Nope. Definitely gonna need speed boost to get that. Can't quite teleport through there. Ow, dick. Okay. Wait, how many times can you do that? Okay, three total. Wow, that's so cool. Alright, back we are we go. But now we can tell it now we can do that. And that's just the coolest. Back to the enemy room, but now I can teleport. Like him. Can't go that way though. Can't go that way either. God, this one's so fast. Oh my god. Jesus, it is so quick. Okay, this time we're not going to play around. We're just going to... Well, that's not fair. Come on, game. That's not nice. Woohoo! Close, close, close. Bad Emmy. Where am I going? Was I even actually supposed to leave? I don't think I was actually supposed to go this way. I 
I don't know. I feel like I wasn't supposed to come back yet because I can't really see any direction on the map of where to go. Uh, so I'm guessing I must have missed something back in uh, Dyrin. Or Berenia, not Dyrin. Dyrin's where I'm at now. Right down there. You know what? Yep, that's it. I just didn't think. So raise that water up. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think that's just literally to raise the water. Yeah, it's just like a pocket of space to fill with water. But now this float thing is down. The water levels dropped quite a bit, actually. Now I can break this. Okay, now we're cooking. Never mind, now we're leaving. We're going back to. Ah, oh, it's gonna be back to Dyron, but it's gonna be that lower area. Travel to Dyron. I wonder why, like, logistically this place was built with these two shuttles. Oh, it goes through, like, a water barrier. That's awesome. That's so cool. I love how it goes through, like, a water barrier. Because the, the upper shuttle was, like, at sea level, and this one is under sea level. So I guess that kind of explains why they have two. Yeah, so we're gonna go through this area, we're gonna kill this power core, and then we're gonna kill Speed Emmy. And then he's gonna be out of the way, and we're definitely getting Speed Booster from him. That's not a question, in my mind. If we get anything other than Speed Booster, I'm gonna be confused. It seems so obvious. Kinda like bombing this seems obvious, but I guess never mind. It seemed like a good move. Buggies everywhere. I was trying to get out of more fall, but I couldn't. Hey, stop it. Emmy room. Oh my god, Emmy underwater? This doesn't seem fair. Come on, game. Why would he just happen to go into the ceiling? I feel like that was an awesome hiding spot. Alright, let's uh, not die to our good friend Emmy. Good thing it looks like he didn't see me when I came in this time. Dash through. I don't know where he is this time. Nope. Behind me. But he's quick, so I don't. Oh no. Speed booster. Yeah, is that kind of fun? Oh no. What are you? Son of a bitch. <sighs> well, kind of have an idea where I'd go now, at least. Of course, I went the two wrong ways first. No. 
Come on. Oh my god, it would not let me get up. The fact that I haven't gotten that I got away. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. That was so close. Well. I wish these fights were a little bit more intense. I kind of just like bonk this thing until it dies. I guess there's a few more rings this time, but... And it's dead. I wonder what the story with this thing is. Like, what's the lore behind this? And a mega cannon, a mega blaster, a mega stream. Right there. And let's, uh, kill an enemy. Not really a straightaway this time. Jesus, it's so fast. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get time to actually kill it. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually got it. I got the counter. That time it let me do it. The first time it literally just ran at me. It's like, nah, I'm not letting you shoot my head. I can't believe I got that counter. Speed booster. Give me that speed booster. Straight to the legs. Were my legs? Were my legs yellow before? Or orange, rather? I was all white, wasn't I? Yeah, Shine Spark. Oh my god, Shine Spark looks so good. Allow Samus to dash at supersonic speed after a short buildup. Press L once running to ready the speed booster. Continue running for a certain distance and the speed booster will activate. While active, any enemies in Samus' path will be damaged. Any speed booster blocks will be destroyed. Condition while speed booster is active, Samus can propel herself in a set direction using a Shine Spark. Tilt down while the shine boost speed booster is active to ready a Shine Spark. Once ready, press B to activate it before tilting in the direction to propel Samus in that direction. Yeah, um, my body's becoming less of the, of the white as I'm absorbing the Emmy. Because my legs definitely were not orange like that. Ah, oh, man, that's cool. Energy tank part! Hey, that's a full energy tank. Nice. That's not much room you need. Alrighty then. Well, you can jump and then keep going. That's so cool. Let's see how long you hold Shine Spark for. A while. Wow, that goes so fast. Oh my 
god, that's so cool. Speed runs of this game are gonna look so awesome. Oh my god, speed runs of this game are gonna be so hype. Speed booster. That's not enough room. I'm gonna have to do some uh, shine spark shenanigans to get that army. Hmm. Well, I want to now. Now I can jump that. Play around here for a little bit. Probably should have tested out with a ball before I got all the way there. Yep, you can try and spark and morph ball. I keep forgetting I need to click, I'm so not used to doing that. Oh, I didn't hold it. There we go. Although, what did that get me other than street cred? Was there any purpose to that? No. There really should have been like a missile tank there for people who can pull that off. Kinda feel kinda feel like I got ripped off. But hey, I did a cool thing. Probably for no reason. Now I need to figure out what's up with this green. Ow. Well. Hmm. What's up with you? It's gonna get me to that area. But what was this uh, bit that I passed? Wasn't this a door? And that's the other side of a green door. Okay. It's like I'm gonna have to be able to shoot and hit all those spots at once. That was very cinematic because that was like the first time you're supposed to do that. But I don't necessarily want to. Ah! Energy tank. Yeah! Went from four to five real quick. I don't think I necessarily wanted to go that way yet because I got more to explore. Games want me to zoom past potential stuff. Hmm. Those are just all ways I could have run from Emmy, and I didn't. Now this is a door I've never been in. It's a door out from I've never been in. Interesting. The wall kind of looks... Okay, guess not. I just thought the wall looked a little unique right there. Speed booster doors? Yeah. Just enough room. 73 missiles. This little guy. Just a little. I guess a little place to hide from Emmy. 
I just straight up never went here when I was being chased. Ow. Dick. Um, okay. Let's so go back through here. So there's a lot of, uh, like, when I was being chased in a lot of these areas, I kind of just went a direction and it worked. There's a lot of ways I could have gone that I didn't go. Because I went, I popped in here for a second. I just jumped into that thing. I have a lot more health, so I'm kind of just not even shooting enemies, which I really shouldn't do. It's not like a good habit to be in or anything. It's just me being lazy. Uh... Emmy zone door. But maybe I can go through there now. Why was I thinking I could wall jump up that? Where was my brain at right there? Hey, stop. Bad. Ow. Yeah, that's definitely super bomb or power bomb and then power bomb upgrade. And it's the other side of the wood. Wide beam door? There we go. That's a new area. More speed booster. Okay. I'm just heading back now. Rude. Oh, that's where I'm going next. Huh. That's tight. Something beam I don't have block. Okay, because I'm not going this way. Then... Alright. Kind of at a loss of where to go. So, I think I'm done here, but I'm not... Not 100%. Anything going on here? That kind of just... Oh, hey. I can uh, speed booster here. That's right. Grab that. And have him under this back little area. New teleporter. Okay. Well, I guess that's where I'm going. That works for me. All right, back to the first area. And there's a wide beam door. What do you know? Hey, I remember seeing this. We're back to relatively early in the game. I don't really speak this to Fox. No, we don't want to go there. Wait a minute. Definitely want to shine spark up that. The fact that you can jump and you maintain speed booster is really weird to me. That was tight. That was cool. Mm, safe here? We'll go a little bit farther on this episode. Yeah, I definitely don't recall my boots being um, the very suit color, so I think I'm as I'm absorbing the Emmys, I'm losing the white. So definitely not going to go that way. Per se. You know what those probably are? Those are probably grapple spots. Looking at that now, and I'm probably like, going to grab when I've seen them. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab it and pull it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Grapple beam acquired. 
fire rope look beam that can latch onto blue grapple points. Holds the iron, press Y to fire after latching on. Tilt uh, in the opposite direction to pull objects such as grapple beam doors, bomb blocks. Yeah, when latched on to a grapple swing point, Samus can swing back and forth. If she fires at a magnetic surface, she'll be poured quickly towards it. Okay. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of an awkward. Kind of weird looking when it's a door. Whoop. Wow, that's, that goes far. I mean, can still kill enemies. You used to only be able to stun enemies. Oh, duh. I just read that I can detach the magnet surface. That's really cool. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Oh, that's such a cool way to do grapple beam. Where is this taking me? Back up to Dairon. Back up to Dairon we go. So I've killed an enemy in every area I've been to. Right? Well, except for the water area, but I haven't done much in that area. In Berenia. This area is hot, hot, hot. So I forget what button was what for a second there. Boosh. Is this gonna take me up to the saws? Yep, sure is. Alright, now that I'm back here. Um, grapple areas. Was there many here, or is it just time to go back? There's one there. And there's an elevator. What about in Kataris? I'm trying to think, hmm. Not a whole lot to my... I still want to go here. But Teleport of Blue is going to take us there eventually. And there, 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 there. Well, access is closed there. Gravel beam door there. Teleport of Purple. Yeah, I've got a lot I want. I need to do in Katara still. Oop. So many buttons. Come on, box. And... Shuttle to another area. New zone. Perennia. Now that I realize um, the boots changed once I absorbed, got speed booster, I want to go back to earlier and see if I can notice what changed. Whoa, this place is like a temple. See if I can notice what changes uh, from each one. That would have been funny if I was just ammo and it just gave me one missile. I feel like I could just go up those stairs and explore that way, but... That's the weird thing about this game having, like, backgrounds is, like, you see stuff like that and you're like, I could just go there. But no, you can't just go there. Hmm. Place is very ominous music. There's not like a wall over here anywhere to go. Yeah, I can't really do anything with that. Okay, teleport right into the saw. Oh my god, saw. I hate you. Why do they put a saw right there? That's such a rude thing to do. That's a rude thing to do too.
Oh boy, what's this army gonna be like? No cutscene for it. Oh boy, we're falling straight in. Seems like a dangerous place to be looking at this mural. Chose a warrior mural. That guy. And it shows him with like power suits too. Whoa. Whoa. I, uh, is he gonna be in here? Nope, blew him. Hmm, got deactivated. But the mural got destroyed. Hey, my dude. She's like, oh, okay. Are we going to tell him about our friend Old Bird? I'm Quiro, a scientist from the Soha tribe. Chozo who attacked you is called Ravenbeak. I don't want to talk over this because I actually really like hearing the language, but... He's a superior physical prowess and intelligence as leader of a Chozo warrior tribe called the Mokin. Mokin. Aided by the Maokan and fellow tribe of the Chozo, we managed to contain the Metroids in the running rampant on SR 388. Oh my god, I love this so much. I'm so into the lore of Metroid series, but. I'm going to try to get these Metroids to become more dangerous than ever before by destroying the planet. But I mean, Samus destroyed the planet. However, Raven Beak took extreme measures to prevent that. He worships at the altar of power in his eyes the Metroids were. Symbolic of a power great enough to rule the galaxy. Yeah. Ravenbeak plotted to bring the Metroids to ZDR and use them as a bioweapon. I love this music in the background. To accomplish this, he needed the Toha tribes. We possess the ability to control the. Whoa! That's so cool that the Chozo can control Metroids. Oh, rip. Ravenbeak and the Mokin tribe took me back to their homeworld, ZDR, in order to continue their preparations for gathering Metroids. Hearing him say Metroid is awesome. However, they ran into unforeseen difficulties and were forced to put their plan on hold. I want to learn Chozo. <laughs> One of the soldiers who returned to SF388 was actually an ex in disguise. That's awesome. CDO descended into chaos. All of the soldiers were infected by the ex. That's bad. So is Ravenbeak an ex? Nope. Ravenbeak nearly managed to contain them. He then turned his thoughts to resuming his plan. God, the Omega Metroid looks like a terrifying xenomorph. Uh, but the Metroids in SR388 have already been eradicated by your hand. Are the Metroids now extinct? They're not. They're definitely not. Ruben makes plans that should have lain in ruin. Yes, lane in ruin, if not for you. Damien are being used by Raven. Listen well, he has commanded them to. Oh, 
uh, extract the DNA from within your body. Interesting. Um, this music changed. Hearing her speak Chozo was the coolest thing that I've ever heard. Now you must proceed this way, I have unlocked the gate. Back to Bernia. That's the coolest thing that move on the map. That's awesome. I'm counting on you, Samus. No! My dude! That was not cool. If he's dead, I'm gonna be so mad. Ah! He looks pretty dead in the background, I'm not gonna lie. This is the most anime Metroid fight I've ever done. Bro's got some health. And he exploded. Oh, my guy. It looks like he, like, melted. I am upset -y. So if I go back in here... Is the amino still deactivated? Nope, nope, that's where it came from. Well. I mean, that's cool that he's turned off. Oh, Jesus, the area's huge. I feel like the last one had a bigger area, though. I don't like just running by his body. It makes me sad. See, look, I feel like I could just walk through there. Well, I was, uh... I was kind of expecting to end this episode at the next save point before that, all that happened. Alright, that was silly. I keep expecting it to, like quickly push me back, but it looks like while well, I've got ready for shine spark. Okay. Oh, wall jump. Uh. Okay, I just, had to, I just had to go quick, which I was not doing. Eh. Punch them all. So that's going to take me to a cold room. Gonna take me to missiles. How does one get the missiles? Speed booster. Now, nah. hmm, that's confusing. What if I dip in there, just enough to get speed booster? Can I do... It's kind of dangerous and I don't want to... I need to get to a save point. I feel like that was totally a thing I could have done though. But we'll figure that out later. When I'm not dying. Back down to Diron. I'm really sad the Trezor guy died. But I'm really glad we got to hear Chozo language spoken and then hear Samus speak it. Like, that's. that was so cool.
Navigation room. Good point to save it in this episode. Let's have Adam talk to us. He hasn't talked to us in a while. Uploading data. Our profile friend has explained well. We now know why the enemy are pursuing you. Samus Aaron, Raven beat your you here. He wants the Metroid DNA that exists only within Yep. You. I have confirmed that Quiet Rogue has deactivated all remaining enemy. You should now be able to mm, use the surface on Fred. That, that, nah, nah, it doesn't seem like what's gonna happen. The loop Quiet Rogue opened is in Lorenia. Return there immediately. Some stuff's definitely gonna go down. But we're gonna save and, uh... Head back to Berenia. I've got a ways to go. Um, we'll see you guys next episode. This was a crazy, crazy interesting one. So much stuff happened. Um, oh man, I can't wait to play. I, I do not want to stop playing. But it's nearly 2 a.m. and uh, yeah, I should probably get to bed. Have a great night, everyone, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.